Hey everybody, hope all is well. So I am quite sure that everyone has probably heard about the um, news development regarding John Amos. Uh, he played the father figure in the show Good Times. Okay, so it says John Amos's daughter shares where she stands with the actor after a dispute. So basically, he's been having obviously some health issues, and there was a POA with regard to uh, the son. Now it's being handled by the daughter. So uh, he's 83 years old, and you know it's it's the norm for for things to happen uh, at that age. But that is not really what I am here to discuss. Um, we're all entitled to our opinion. We can agree to disagree and still be respectful to each other. I was speaking with a um, young black woman and she's given her take, I guess, on, you know, the preference and how, you know, uh, it was kind of a weird conversation. Actually, two of them, a weird conversation. One was saying that the reason which I cannot I, I just can't, I, it, it's illogical, it's, it's nonsensical. She was saying that, hey, the reason that we have so many um, baby daddies or fatherless homes in the black community is all the fault of the white man. So I don't know if the white man is the baby daddy whisperer. He could be, and if so, we need to find this guy and do <clears throat> a citizen arrest. I'm like, how is that? <clears throat> so maybe he's telling them, hey, get these ladies pregnant and run off. If so, that white guy needs to be found. So here's his daughter. Uh, she looks like him. And I just first, you know, took her um, as um, a black woman of a light complexion. It never occurred to me that she was biracial. So I kind of start doing a little checking. Now, Let's get to Good Times first. Here is her photos of the cast of Good Times. Here's Esther Rowe, rest in peace. She played the mother. And here's John Amos playing James Evans Sr. And I always felt that when you look at it, television is about programming. The programming is on. And in my opinion, it was pretty much a whole lot of sad times, you know. But I think the message is portrayed to the black community is, hey, listen, you don't need, you know, um, a lot of, you don't need money or you don't need a lot of things. All you need is each other. And it's good times. As long as you can sit around and uh, laugh and have a meager existence, it's good times. You, you got each other. That's all you need. It didn't promote you know, uh, entrepreneurship or a way to get out. It was always, you know, a little talk, you know, JJ may say something and then pull back down. So as long as you can, you know, throw a rent party, get somebody's rent, then go back to eating those three beans in a pot to feed five people. Hey, you don't have any money, any resources, but guess what? You've got each other. It's good times. You can laugh and crack a joke. Yeah, right. So here he is. Here's Esther Rowe. So notice with Esther Rowe, what do you see? You see a black woman um, of a dark complexion. Okay? Just like him. So when times are bad, of course, black men, they can always find a black woman. Black woman of a dark complexion. The show, the, again, the programming is there. So then you have to look at real life. And then one lady, she said, um, the reason for a lot of the interracial or, you know, black men uh, don't want uh, original looking black women is because they now uh, have access. Girl, stop. They've been doing this. The 50s, that's, is, they've been doing this. They will put their neck off the line. I kid you not. So... People are doing what they want to do. That's it. Boom. Here's the first wife, and they have two children. Yeah, here's the first wife. John Amos' first wife was Noel J. Mickelson, and their interracial marriage was banned. John Amos and jo Noel J. Mick Mickelson Tie the knot when interracial marriages were banned. The pair were married for 10 years and welcomed two children as part 
of their romantic story. John Amos is a successful actor whose career was spanned over five decades and includes a multitude of acting credits. Some of his notable projects include the sitcom Good Times, the drama series Roots, in which he won an Emmy, and the film franchise Coming to America. There he is. Mm-hmm. He has maintained a constant presence in the Hollywood scene for more than five decades and has kept his life private during all those years. Even though less is known about John's personal life, he's been married twice and has two children from his first wife to Noelle J. Mickelson. But like his relationships, the talented actor kept his children from the spotlight for most of their lives. They are older now and have been sharing more about their family on social media. Noelle Noni J. Mickelson was John Amos' first wife who passed away. So, Noelle J. Mickelson was John Amos' first wife and the mother of his only two children, Shannon and Casey Amos. Nicholson was a famous equestrian, architect, environmentalist, and artist who harbored deep love and respect for nature. Now, the dusty men are going to go, get what I'm getting, get what I'm getting. Cool your jets, cool your dusty boots. Keep in mind, she was a famous equestrian. Poor people, even middle class, you can't afford to be in equestrian. That's a rich person's sport. The horse alone, the stable, the feeding, the medical attention. Are you kidding? The gear, the clothing. You're not going to go out there in your blue jeans. Equestrian pants. To be in equestrian, that's a very rich person's sport. You have to have money. Architect, environmentalist, and an artist. Now, I wanted to get to, um, hmm, so it's not like he married a woman that had means. No, 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 no. Let's not get it twisted, all right? This woman is from a rural area. Matter of fact, it was so rural, they don't even know what year the woman was born. Does that sound rich to you? It was so rural, they don't even know what year she was born check this out keep in mind black women 50 50 or what you bring to the table who is noelle j mickelson noelle j mickelson is an american artist craftswoman and equestrian she is best known as the ex-wife of american actor john amos although noelle has been separated from john amos she is still known as his ex-wife and connected to him to date well 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 you see the age is in a age in a not applicable they, they don't know noelle j mickelson was born in the united states of america but not much is known about the exact date on which she was born she grew up in a small town in iowa She's an Ashkenazi Jewish descendant from Eastern Europe. She rose to fame as a celebrity ex-wife. As of 2022, the age of Mickelson is unknown. She rose to fame as a celebrity ex-wife. So they still don't know her age because they don't know the exact date to which she was born in a rural area. So let me ask you a question. How do you think she became an equestrian, an architect, environmentalist? artist you think rich people one thing rich people do have sweetheart and that's called the data oh trust me the data determines uh, uh, everything our people don't have the data they always keep up with the data the data is information why because that's how they move they make calculated moves so they don't even know what year she was born uh no rich people they, they're very good with numbers why because other uh, lives revolve around numbers money they don't y you think so how did she become i do wonder how did she become an equestrian architect chocolate draw i mean john amos that's my guesstimation if she had that money before, do you think she would have got with him? Highly unlikely. Again, they don't know her birth age uh, from a small town in Iowa.
rich people keep records. They have people to do it for them. So in my opinion, based on that, uh, pretty much safe to say, <laughs> that's the lifestyle I'm sure he provided her. Again, she's how is she known? Connected to him. I wonder if she had 50-50 on the table. What did she bring to the table? Again, they don't to this day know what year the girl, the lady was born in. That speaks volumes of the background. They got records of um, slavery times, you think? It was a business. We built this country. How don't have her records? That tells me that you, you mustn't have money. May have been a midwife. What hospital? They had hospitals back then. But look what she became. Pippa Larson. He made $109 million. Uh, I Googled it for um, Scotty Pippen. It said $109 million. Now he's worth $20 million. I'm sure she's well taken care of and provided for. So the conversation about, oh, you know, and I really don't care because no offense, as I said before, I am, I'm okay with, uh, if it's a self-hating black man, be a professional dust bucket, educated lame, I'm okay with you uh, breeding yourselves out. That's fine because guess what? In the black community, you're there when you have nothing to offer for the collective, okay? As a collective, nothing to offer. Black women don't seem to benefit from it. So, hey, breed yourself out. That'll be less baby daddies. Some black women want to still try to hold on and stay strong. Child, you're going to be out of not breath, out of breath. That cape going to choke you. So this here, it was banned. He still took a chance. That man, 83 years old. He still took a chance. As I said to a baby mother, uh, the man is doing what he wants to do. I don't want to hear how much he loves your child and that he can't see his child because of all the excuses that these black women give. Love y'all, but girl, wake up. Oh, well, his working hours. Well, he works so much, but well, how'd you get pregnant? He doesn't work 24-7, I know. So he found some time to get you pregnant, right? Why he don't want to see his kid. Don't have time to see his child. He works so late. Okay, then what's his off day? He doesn't work seven days a week, 365 a year. Don't lie. What's his off day? Because he has a job. Why he can't come pick up the child then? Make arrangements. Working at night, okay, then school is out in the summertime. Then that means if he works at nighttime, the different shift, then that means he's got morning and the afternoon and probably, you know, before it gets evening time. What's the issue? If you go to work starting at three o'clock and you leave at two, then you got, that's a nice, man, you got from seven in the morning to two o'clock to do something. You can't take your child to school or take the child for breakfast. People doing what they want to do, just like this here. They are doing what they want to do. Why are they creating fatherless homes and not marrying you? Because they're doing what they want to do. They don't want to be in the home. They don't want a black family. They don't want to marry you, black woman. They don't want to be responsible for you. Do what they want to do. Understand? Doing what they want to do. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. All the excuses. People doing what they want to do. I'm. You're doing what you want to do. You think? How your man treats you. How your woman treats you. People doing what they want to do. These men have fought for interracial marriages. Yeah. Where are the men saying, hey, let's stop the fatherless home and the baby mob in the black community? You might find a few, I can count them on, on one hand. The transfer of wealth. They're doing what they want to do. And then I saw something that indicated, I was like, oh, no, that's like a money pile. Are they trying to raise money for him? I mean, of course, I'm not donating. You might want to call up her group and say, they'll, they'll donate for you. Ashkenazi. Don't hold your breath. But just notice, she became what? Equestrian. Don't check out trying to be an equestrian. 
The horse alone, you got to buy a horse. It's kept on the stable. Who going to take care of it? That stall is not free. The hay, the, 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 the ranch hand, whatever is being kept, it's, it's not free. Inner contest, okay, it has to be transported there. And what, in your Toyota Corolla? I think not. A truck with a trailer hitch? Transported there. Yeah. Contest? Even if you do the contest, just in it alone, it's expensive. So, um, I'm not worried about him I'm trying to uh, get a GoFundMe, if that's the case, to raise some money uh, for him. I was like, I was like, wait a minute, there's somebody saying about raising some money. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe he should have saved some of that equestrian dollars. He spent on his wife. You know, maybe he should have used some of her. I mean, she's no longer here, but uh, where's the ROI, the architecture? Did she make any money on that? Maybe she should have invested it. She's a painter. Where's the art? It might be time to sell it. Again, if you noticed, when on good times, it's a true depiction. He has nothing to offer. He don't have any money. They up in the PJs in the projects. She rocking TWA. If you notice on good times, listen, that's the whole thing. Um, a lot of black people, especially black women, don't deal with reality. I, I love you so much, but I'm telling you, some of us don't deal with reality. We got this fake imagery. Every black man is not our father. It sure as hell ain't mine because mine was a provider. I can tell you that for sure. Sure as hell wasn't mine because my dad was a provider. My mom stayed at home. Boop. So some black women re really don't get it. This here is nothing new. That again, good times. That The, the writers, I'm not sure if it's Norman Lear or whomever, but the writers, they know these black men, but black women don't, don't want to face it. They didn't pick one if for, for Florida. They didn't pick one that was of a light complexion. You think those weren't there? They didn't pick a, 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 a biracial uh, black woman to play Florida because they already knew most black men, when they ain't got nothing, they'll pick somebody that looks like them. Guess what? Brown skin, dark skin, karma, you'll do. Black women some still don't want to face it. Well, maybe it's not choice, but as a collective plan, the numbers don't lie. Look around. So why do you think they picked somebody that looked like Florida? They already knew who to pick. Okay, this is going to be about him having a wife in the projects. He can't provide. They living her in the projects, getting robbed up and down the street, warlords, gangs, and all that. He's a dark complexion black man. That's why they got Florida, that, that complexion. They say, oh, you just, listen, these people, when you subjugate somebody, you have to study that person when you subjugate somebody. You study the person and the behavior to keep that fool under control. Okay. Our people don't get it because you know why we're playing a little simple game they've been playing damn chess and you sitting up here still looking for your checkerboard ain't even got started when you subjugate someone you have to know their mind their process their thought process i asked all the white gentlemen i said so what do you do i said it's not a curiosity it's not a race thing but uh let's say you have an enemy or someone you don't like and you want to keep that person down what do you do he's like oh you, of course you which is common sense you study the behavior you keep a very close eye on them oh you do and then this is the part which duh we all know that but here's the part that he said and he said and when you see him coming up he said you never let him up you put your foot on that neck if they trying to climb up you if they if, if they have their hand on on a tree or something or on a piece of wood plywood and they're trying to pull up you take your foot and you just smush it stomp, stomp the fingers down you he said what well, you never let the end you never let them up so these dusty think they're doing something. No, the white man, he studies you. He knows that you don't like you, okay? So that that right there, he already knows about the wealth transfer. Gee, I don't know. Sounds like white guardianship, you think? They could have chose somebody of a light complexion biracial as if they those folks didn't exist. Come on now. In good time. No, they knew to pick a dark complexion woman. But look what he picked up behind closed doors. That's the choice he made. You think they want beautiful black women bore by? So the same thing now. I'm not donating for his health. You go figure that out, homeboy. You should have planned your retirement better. You should have planned better. Maybe save some of your money. I'm just saying. 
Oh, that's me. And when it's black on it, that's the same thing we hear. But who the hell want to challenge that? We want to be all quiet on that. It kills me how you have some mammoths. They always sympathize with men. And that's why when these mammoths get showed up, oh, I have no sympathy. When, when my, not my son, when he does something terrible and embarrasses her, or maybe his anger, which he's been exhibiting and putting it on black women, okay, because he's a failure, okay? And then he gets so mad, he not showing his mama, well, that's the son you raised. She should have raised him better, better yet. Maybe the father should have been to the raisin. But it, it's, that's not my concern, that's on you. These mammoths can't take care of these uh, men that they've been taking care of. They will act crazy. Well, that's on you. You should have been had that man learn how to take care of himself. I doubt that she worked on the job. Looks like she was using her time wisely. Equestrian. Hmm. Who was paying for it? Architect. How you come out of a small town? Don't even know what year you born in. I guess y'all up here guessing. Uh, you don't just go to night school, become an architect. And take three hours of classes. Somebody has to pay for it. Artists. It seems she was able to meet him and better her life as they all do. But black women, you're supposed to be programmed. You just meet a black man. Only two things are qualified. Black and breathing. And, that, and that's good enough for you. Easy black. Easy breathing, that's good for you. Struggle love, good time. At least we got each other, child. If it's going to be a struggle, I should, I don't, I ain't finna buy it. I'm not riding that bus. You can keep that little dingy ticket. I'm not riding that bus. I need some security. Yeah, okay? Security. See, when black women say it, it's like all taboo. And that's what these women are always getting when they get with black men. Face it, you are for getting the dusty dumpling. Dusty zero level limb pockets, dude. That's what you're getting. Oh, you sound like a gold digger. Only black women digging for dust, and I can tell because most of them still trying to check for some chocolate drop. Some some dust bucket black man. Have you seen uh I, uh, I wonder who Vanessa Williams is going to probably date next. Is, where's the next black man? She got all that money, honey. She don't need no black man. Need no man, really. She can date him, what have you. Look, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, I meant Kobe Bryant's. Vanessa Bryant, yeah. Kobe Bryant's woman. I'm looking at two different things. Kobe Bryant, huh. They love black men. Well, since she loved black men and got all that money, and I don't want to hear about the little foundation about the kids, let's hear something that's of substance. You know, most black men, they're, they're at the bottom of society, right? As a collective, I mean, the most, you know, the, they kill themselves. The police kill them. They don't provide for their families. The most uneducated, most incarcerated. So is it going to hurt for them to go ahead and get something going to try to rehabilitate some of these black men? Get into some of the schools in the area? Provide some scholarships. Huh? Provide some counseling. By the time a black woman make it, all oh, we want to see what she's going to do for the community. Cut the BS. So yeah, this right here. People do what they want to do. But some black women still don't get it. You still on a struggle bus because, again, it's programming. Again, look, good times. The cast is picked very carefully. They didn't just say, well, Esther Rose showed up there. She had more. They understand the psychic of this right here. What I hate to say, many black women still don't get it. Still don't get it. You still holding on. You still live in a delusional, a chimerical world. You know, you got some kind of fake utopian society where they value and love you and they want the best for you. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. What kind of man has a, I don't care if it was a married tour, what kind of man has a baby brother who is homeless? Couch surfing. I wouldn't even be with a man like that. You got a baby mama, okay? So she's, well, that's on her. Wow, speaks volume. I would think more this dude is a loser because if he ain't saying about her, not going to say about me. As I always, I did a video before, Kyle, check his last chick. 
The guy that I dated before, I sure did check the last chick. Oh, I see. Huh. She has more education than me. And her, what is, let's see. Her husband is now a doctor. Yeah, he's a doctor. He's a, he's a, actually he's a surgeon. Check his last chick. Before I got married, their relationship. Yeah, I took his last chick. Real nice. Oh, what does she do? Child, oh, girl, she's sitting up here over a hedge fund. Oh, you're in finance. Oh, check his last chick. I sure did check. She has a very comfortable lifestyle. Obviously, when they were married. They got divorced. Now she's married to, married to a surgeon. She left with assets. I left a relationship and we'll serve friends and I left with some assets, still have them. Check his last chick. Getting married to someone. Check the, what was the last wife? Check his last chick. Is she hungry and doing without and struggling? Then probably you too. This one here, check his last, the last wife. Uh-huh. Okay, she was a housewife. Okay, yes, and, and I've been a housewife too. Oh, why? That's how that man moves. I didn't have any children. Got divorced. Uh oh. She did well, even sent her to school after the divorce. Do you see a bunch of poverty? Uh uh. Is she struggling? Uh uh. Does he have me sitting up in poverty? Uh uh. Is he struggling? Hell no. Uh uh. If my stuff goes wrong, am I going to be like, what am I going to do? Uh-uh. Check his last chick. Tells you a lot. Because chances are, uh, if he left her a baby mama and just doing paying minimal, just child support and he gone, that may be an indication of your future. So check a lot of black men when they get money. The majority... They don't like themselves. They don't like the skin that they're in. A whole lot of them. People are doing what? People doing what they want to do. Will take a chance to walk through the flames of hell. <laughs> take five litigation to Mary Becky. But we're going to sit up here and argue about why he's not there for you. We're going to sit up here and argue why the man is not marrying you. And look, if he, look here, and if he a dust bucket, he ain't even worth marrying, child. You better stay single and run. You better have peace of mind, be able to uh, stay dust free and keep on breathing. If he's a dust bucket, I just say cut your losses. You need to see how that marriage might turn out. Some dudes want to marry one that has some assets. A woman I talked to, and what did he say? He don't mind being a house husband. He wants to stay at home. I thought, wow. He, he told her he wanted to be a house husband. Well, what did she expect when she met him? He wasn't working. So this here, keep checking back. You go find the same old thing. Time they get a little change. But black women want to sit up here and still cape for them. You can do it if you want to, but I just said just face reality. I would like to see them wear that cape for you. They've had plenty of time to. So yeah, this right here. Good times. Why do you think they chose Florida? A black woman of a dark complexion because they already know the mindset of... But see, black women don't. They want to come with all kinds of excuses. When they have a lot of wealth, are they chasing you? Do Do they? So this right here, people, you know, doing uh, what, what they want to do. He obviously invested in her because, again, how can you come from money? They don't know what year you were born. They didn't have records. B.S. Child, they had records since the eight. Man, are you kidding me? They got records that you Come on now. In a small town in Iowa, pop in the back of pop the real rule. But she found her way to a king. So how does she become an equestrian? Again, that's a rich person sport. How does she become an architect? Environmentalist, you got time for that? Environmentalist? Uh, but since it was banned, here's what I wanna know. Why didn't she become an activist for the black cause? Because she got a black man, especially during that time. 
environmentalist, why did she not, she, she didn't want to become an activist to fight for civil rights and march? For the people of your men that you love so much? Why you didn't become an activist? You didn't think back then there were poor people? You couldn't set up any kind of, maybe a foundation, you think, to maybe sell some of your art and let it maybe help some of the people in the ghetto? I mean, you've attached yourself to a black man. With black men, automatically, if you got two words for the black race, rich and poverty, we know it and all filled with rich. Maybe talent and ideas, yes, but money, hell no. We don't have the resources as a collective. So why couldn't, I don't understand why I couldn't have been activist. Because black men said, oh, they did this feel in love. Well, you know, the surfing of the people, especially given his age during that time, why don't, you can sell some art maybe to uh, benefit the culture. You can sell some art to maybe um, help with reading programs, job programs. I'm not understanding why that could not happen. But I do see environmentalists. I do see your girl had time to become what? An equestrian. Oh, you had time for that. So I'm just trying to see, you know, people falling in love. Where, where's the cause at? You understand? That, that's what I'm trying to understand. We have time to be an artist. Or you could have sold it on and start, start a foundation to provide lunches to the kids in the inner city. You sure could have. You could have had art to provide literacy programs. You could have done things like that. So that's the part I don't understand how the preferences love these men so much. But I just don't see it. They love black, the black culture. No, they love the green that's in the little Dusty's hand. Why don't we see activists? That's what I don't understand. And you've got two biracial children. Why? People doing what they want to do, living a rich lifestyle. Equestrian, architect. That's, that's expensive. It's not cheap. So, yeah, wanted to share this with you guys. So, but you, but you're supposed to be, don't forget good time. That's programming. You don't have the light bill or the phone bill. You can, can only pay one or the other. Oh my, we're having stew for dinner, but there's no meat in it. It's just stew. Oh my, you know, come on, really? Well, hey, it doesn't matter. We've got good times. We got each other. Man, that, that's played out like a, like an old tape or something they had called a track, some big old thing. It looks like a, maybe a, a VHS or a track. It's, it's played out. People know what they want to do. So him, good luck in the recovery, homeboy. Good luck, sir. Because he is 83. So good luck, sir. I'll be, I'll be respectful. But yeah, you won't, I'm, I'm not doing any donations because, you know, hey, you, you just, I, he should have planned better. That's all I can say. He should have planned better. And, you know, they, they said don't outlive your money. So you just should have planned better. Like you plan to put yourself on the line for the preference. You should have planned better. Better maybe try to sell some of those paintings. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Simply say it on YouTube. Feel free to comment, like, dislike, subscribe, and share. I gotta go. Thanks for watching.